All right, welcome back to the shop. In the last video, we built the plain till and it turned out really great. So now we are moving on to a chisel rack and a saw till. All right, so let's make a little saw till here. I have uh, a shelf cut uh, to size here. Dab of glue. And yep, I'm wiping the uh, excess glue on the under counter of the bench like it's a booger. Don't tell me you've never uh, done that. Should be good. All right, I'm gonna cut it off right there. And of course, my little dovetail saw since these guys are such on the opposite ends of the spectrum for size, they're gonna have their own little dealy mabob. So I'm gonna just lay it out and mark that, cut it. All right, I'm gonna start with my tallest saw and I want it down enough from the top shelf so that way when I pick it up, I can pick it up out of the bottom holder and then slide it out of the top holder. So I'm thinking I probably want about an inch or so. Probably gonna put our shelf pin right there. All right, so the saw till cabinet is coming along. I got it all hung up here. I'm pretty satisfied with how it's going. Uh, next to drill some holes in here so the handles don't slide around, but I'm not uh, really satisfied with this shelf. Knowing what I know about myself and flat surfaces that that is just going to become a huge mound uh, of stuff to be piled up there. So I think instead I am going to cut a uh, Dili Mabob that's in shape of a U and then this will be open to this shelf and that way I can have stuff down here and if I have some extra room to lift uh, that stuff out of the shelf without having this thing in the way getting piled up with all kinds of crap. So I think that's the plan for that. All right, so I got them all laid out here, and basically I'm just gonna eyeball the center of each handle and mark it to drill a, a hole uh, to capture the handle so it doesn't slide around. And I'm only gonna go about uh, 3 eighths of an inch deep or so, just enough to catch the handle, but not drill all the way through. There we go. So perfect, we'll squirt some finish on there another day. All right, so for the chisel rack, I've milled up a few pieces and I uh, mitered them at the table saw. Sorry, I did not uh, catch that footage in the zone and not paying attention. All right, so I'm just gonna use the, uh, the blue tape technique to hold the miter together while I glue it up. So now when I drill the holes for the chisels to go in, 
I don't want the bottom of the chisel just to be flopping around in there. Are they going to lay all crazy? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mill up some cheaper wood, uh, some alder here, and basically build a block in here. So that way I'll drill into the block and the cheaper wood will be hidden inside the cabinet. And all we'll see is the walnut face. Now I could resaw veneer this, but uh, the labor I think is going to be more than uh, just getting it done with some uh, solid stock here. All right, and then to hold the miter tight, I'm just gonna tape like this. And if I cut my miter accurately, uh, this should be all I need to keep a nice square joint. All right, so I got the faces of my chisel holders all uh, milled out and cut to length and width, ready to go. And I have the core made out of a cheaper wood all milled up to fit nicely inside of there. I'm not gonna glue it on just yet because my drill bit that I wanna use is not deep enough to drill as far as I want my chisel to sit in there. So I'm gonna start drilling, then remove this piece, raise the table up and finish it to the, the final depth. So that way I can get a little more depth out of my drill bit. So I'm gonna flush these guys up, clamp them together. All right, and then I made a template here so that way I don't have to do the layout on all three of these. Only have to do it once. And since these aren't super precise or need to be super precise, I'm just gonna use some tape just to hold it down in its general place. If it wiggles a little bit, no big deal because uh, I don't think the chisel's gonna care. All right, and I'm sizing the hole just slightly bigger than the biggest handle I have. And I'm gonna drill them all out to that same hole so that way these guys will slide in there nicely. Some of the other chisels that I have a smaller handle to, um, if they rock back and forth and mess with my OCD or become irritating, then I might just print a 3D sleeve to slide in there to hold these up. Um, and that way I can take it out if I want to add more of this style chisel uh, in the future. There we go. So then this guy goes right over there and I'm going to drill the rest of these guys out and then raise the bit to uh, finish drilling this to depth and then glue it all together. All right, so now I got my block here. I raised the table to where the uh, block just barely slides under there without hitting the tip so I can drill at maximum depth and we're just gonna finish drilling these guys deeper. All right, the chisel rack is coming along nicely. I got all the holes drilled in it, mitered up, glued up, ready to go. Now, this is going to be terraced in the cabinet. So this top one is only three inches and this bottom one is three and a quarter. And that is going to allow me to lap it over a quarter inch. So I just have a nice transition here and it's good and solid. So to fill this bottom area up, I'm just gonna use some scrap plywood uh, and offset it or inset it in a quarter inch so that way it'll clip onto the ledge just like that and sit in the cabinet securely. All right, so I scribed in a line that's a quarter inch in from the edge and I wanna make sure I leave at least uh, the thickness of my side piece here. So I'm gonna line up here. And just for some extra blocking, I'm gonna make it a little bit extra thick here. All right, and then these guys are the same height. All right, let's see if we screwed anything up here. Should fit over right over the top of this guy. There we go, that's pretty solid. And we'll do the same thing for this guy. And 
All right. Gotta go down here like this. I will go here like this. There we go. So this will all be hidden inside the cabinet. A little hollow spot back there for the black widows to make nests and lay their eggs. So uh, I think everybody will be happy. All right, here we go. Cabinets are installed and most of the tool holders are done. As I go around and finish cleaning up the shop as I find the other tools, I'll make tool holders and add them to the shelves. But I think it turned out pretty good. So here's why the different size shelves. So this guy on this side, uh, right here, this guy, I'm still working on organizing that side. And so then this next cabinet here was for the nail guns. And I sized it mainly for this guy up here, this bin. So I'll have two bins, one for 16 gauge, one for 18 gauge. And then all the nail guns are just in a little bracket system right there. Then the routers are going in this guy, more routers, bases in here, uh, air pump and sanders. And then the wider cabinet was designed to fit the Festool stuff in mind, uh, cause these dominoes take up quite a bit of space. And then uh, I have a grinder, a little die grinder up there. So that's that guy. So the saw till, you watched me install that guy. And then of course the plane till is done. And then just finished uh, the chisel rack. And as I find more tools and things, some measuring tools will go up on top of there above the, uh, the chisels. And then this board right here, I didn't take the cabinets all the way to the door because I was worried going in and out of the door, I would constantly be hitting that corner on my shoulder or something uh, if it's too close to the door. But I think this board is what I'm gonna hang these hammers on. So some kind of tool holder to hang right there or stuff like that. I haven't quite figured out all the little details until I find all the tools, but uh, the cabinets are done. So we're gonna move on to the next project. Um, there's a kind of a little shadow line right underneath the cabinet. So I might paint this wall and my daughter wants me to put some LEDs down there, some blue LEDs so I could be like the gaming YouTubers, you know, a real YouTuber. But uh, there we go.